Sunday, August 6th. Farmers Market Week starts today. Know your farmer, know your food. You know what I say. Know your farmer, know your food. It's a weekend wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Weekend wrap. Hey, Doyle California Lizard Races off the hook. <laughs> Had a great time. Thanks to everybody in Doyle. Everybody in Doyle. That's a cool little town, ladies and gentlemen. Fun time. All the military that was there, thank you for your service. Hey, coming up this week, you know, Weekend Wrap brought to you by Women at Work in that Richmond, Virginia area, Kim Savage. Kim Savage, the prom is Saturday night. Are you going to be here, girl? What's really going on? I have, uh, am I going to be all dressed up with no place to go? Kim Savage, Women at Work, ladies and gentlemen, Richmond, Virginia area, property maintenance, property management work, you need it, she can help. 804-539-4333. Give her a call. She'll help you out. Hey, Purdy Enterprises on uh, coming up Preservation Thursday. The big news, we're going to look at something here. Preservation Thursday, Purdy Enterprises. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. Boy, did they put something in a contract? Ladies and gentlemen, they want to censor you. They want to censor you. They want you to bite your tongue off to work with them. We're going to discuss why this is a huge red flag, what this means, talk a little more contract and some verbiage a little bit. Vendor, vendor, question came in, our question of the week. Is vendor just another word for employee? It, vendor, employee, vendor, employee. We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at that. In the meantime, think about this, the definition of the term vendor it is a person or a company with something for sale. I have long said we are service providers. Is that something for sale? We'll discuss that. That's our question of the week. You got a question of the week? You got a contract question? Call us up. Uh, uh, here's what I don't understand about the Purdy issue. Only truthful statements can be made. Now, I want to ask you something, and I want you to think about this from now till Thursday, and we'll, we'll really get into this and discuss this. What if the only truthful st statement you have to make about something or someone or a company is one that disparages, defames, dishonest, uh, uh, it, it, it De degenerates, a lot of D words in there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 it injures them. What if that's what the truth does? We'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. You could bet. Hey, and you know what? We're going to have all kinds of... I got some more. I got... We're going to do some more noisemaker stuff. Monsanto, GMO Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. GMO Tuesday. Hey. Are you eating funny fish, salmon. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about that. Oh, by the way, funny story about Doyle this weekend. You know, I, I mean, I, that's where I was. I was at the lizard races yesterday. We had a blast. We had a blast. All, all, all the people that came by said hello and, uh, uh, you know, pick, picked items up, uh, some of the yard art and stuff we have there, the walking sticks. Off the hook. Thanks. Thanks, folks. Hey, uh, uh, but when the question came in about vendor... Is vendor just another word for employee? And I said, well, I, I sent him a picture of the booth. Hey, I'm a vendor at a street fair. When I look the word vendor up, when I look the word vendor up, person or company, person or company with something to sell, something for sale, especially a trader on the streets you know, the ice cream vendor, a hot dog, a pretzel guy, hey, a walking stick man. I don't know, whatever, you know, but a vendor on the street. Vendor is a term, and that's why we'll be talking about that. GMO, GMO, Farmer's Market Week. Know your farmer, know your food, ladies and gentlemen. What else is there to say? What else is there to say? That is brought to you by the Small Business Association. Linda McMahon, hey, I got some crazy ideas about the property preservation industry. Put a whole bunch of people to work if it was done right. We're going to have Senna, we'll talk about Senna's podcast just for a minute. Uh, uh, 
Stephanie Senna uh, has a podcast out, a very, very, very informative. It's on autism. Uh, and this is something that's never crept into my life that deep uh, and affected me. So, and I know there's, but I have so many people that it has. And so th this will be something uh, folks will want to look at. Uh, fish in Virginia, another another chemical spill somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. A whole, we'll, we'll do that. Brazil is pushing back on GMOs. Brazil, come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh, but the salmon, the salmon, the salmon. Are you eating GMO salmon? Uh, they're saying five million tons or some crazy astronomical number of GMO salmon have been fed to the Canadians. Is Trudeau eating some kind of weird thing to make him think the way he's thinking? Is he eating the GMO salmon? I don't know. 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 I'm going to try to get a question off to our, our, our friend Sheena down there, that cutie pie down in Australia, down under, down under. There's where I, I even wear my funny hat for me. I think I got an Australian hat somewhere. I don't know. But hey, I'm going to have some new noisemakers for some visual effects. You can bet on it because why? Glyphosate use is up. Up! You can't make this up, folks. You can't make it up. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, hope you're having a great weekend. Finish it out. Sunset tonight. You know what I'm saying? Have a great night. Let's all be safe out there. We'll see you Tuesday morning on GMO Tuesday.